David, the city of Portland slowly getting back online today. This morning, Mayor Ted Wheeler saying about half of the city's systems were disrupted by the software update. Overnight, first responders, airlines, hospitals and banks across the world were hit with an IT outage. So we weren't able to clock in. I was trying to make some deposits and wasn't able to do so because I guess of the global outage. Many computer screens stuck displaying this error message, impacting day to day operations. My primary concern was obviously first response, police and fire. Those were my priority areas in the early hours of the morning. Portland Mayor Ted Wheeler issuing an emergency declaration as 911 dispatchers and first responders resorted to taking calls manually. We have forms and paper that they just track calls on. Uh, similarly, within police and fire uh, bureaus, they do the same thing. We have 487 systems, 266 of which were impacted. We now have about half of those systems corrected. The system outage was caused by a cybersecurity company called CrowdStrike. The system uh, was sent an update and that update had a, a software bug in it and caused a uh, an issue with the Microsoft operating system. CrowdStrike and, uh, CEO uh, George Kurtz speaking quickly. on the Today Show Friday morning saying they're resolving the issue. And it's why we're here to make sure that every customer is fully recovered and we're not going to relent until we get every customer back to where they were. The city of Portland slowly coming back online, assuring everyone that 911 calls, emergency response and other public services are not affected. We've been working with banks, hospitals. Uh, there have been some impacts to some of our hospital systems, but no life safety or patient care functions were interrupted. Providence, Peace Health and Legacy Hospitals say they're also dealing with the outage and are focused on prioritizing patient care. Now, Washington County also told me that they dealt with disruptions to internal communications and the deputies just resor resorted to more traditional methods like listening to a radio. Now, this all happened overnight, so these emergency services are no longer disrupted. That's the good news, David. Yeah, going old school and back to basics. Thank you, Ashley.